Okay, now let's get to the ambiguous case, which is the side-side angle case. Okay, the side-side angle is called the ambiguous case because we might have no solutions to our triangle, we might have one solution, or we might have two solutions that have the specified um, measurements. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these examples. Okay, so let's um, solve this triangle here. So uh, we have some choices here. We can start with gamma, but C is unknown, so I don't want two unknowns. So I better start with beta. Okay, so I have sine of beta divided by 15 is equal to sine of 63 degrees divided by 8. To find sine of beta, I multiply both sides by 15. And if I plug that into my calculator, I get about 1.67. So to find out beta, I need to solve sine of beta is equal to 1.67. But I know this has no solutions because the highest value that sine of beta can take is 1. So there is no angle beta for which the sine of beta is 1.67. Okay, so this side-side angle case, so side-side angle, has no solutions. Okay, let me give you one to try Okay, press pause while you work on this one. Okay, since alpha and A are both unknowns, I'm going to start with beta again. So I have sine of beta over 6 is equal to sine of 70 over 20. Okay, 70 degrees. Then we solve for sine of beta by multiplying both sides by 6. Okay, so we find that sine of beta is about 0.282. That means in order to find the angle beta, that missing angle there, we have to solve this trig equation. Okay, So we're looking for where the sine is equal to 0 0.282. Let's take a look at the unit circle. Okay, Remember that the sine is equal to the y-coordinate on the unit circle. So I'm looking for the places on the unit circle where the y-coordinate is 0 0.282. That's this spot and this spot. The way I'm going to find this angle is by using the inverse sine. So I plug inverse sine of 0.282 into my calculator, and I get approximately 16.38 degrees. OK, so this angle here is 16.38. OK, so it means, well, maybe I have one solution to this triangle, or maybe I have two solutions. Because there's another angle where the sine of is going to be equal to 0.282. That's this angle here. This angle here is going to be 180 degrees minus this angle here. And that's going to be equal to 163.62 degrees. OK, so these are the two angles that we need to be looking at. So maybe we have one solution, or maybe we have two solutions. The way we're going to determine whether or not each of these is a solution OK, well, the small angle is always going to be a solution. And the question is, is the big angle going to be a solution? We have to see if the angles will work out. OK, so let's take a look at a couple diagrams there. So here are my two triangles with these two angles that we found written in. OK, as I said, the small angle will always give us a solution to the triangle. To see if the big angle is a solution, we have to use the fact that the sum of the angles has to be 180. If we do 163.62 plus 70 degrees, that gives us something that is more than 180 degrees. So we know this cannot be a solution. So we're only going to have one triangle that solves the given case. And it's going to be this triangle here. So let's continue to find the remaining parts. We can find alpha by subtracting these two angles from 180 degrees. OK, so alpha is going to be about 93.62 degrees. The last thing that we have to find is the value of A. So A divided by the sine of 93.62 is equal to, we'll use 20 
divided by the sine of 70. Okay, so remember, we're taking the side and the angle opposite that side all the time. So to find A, we multiply both sides by sine of 93.62. And if we plug that into the calculator, we get approximately 21.24. Okay, so that solves our triangle. The missing values are the angle of 93.62 degrees here, 16.38 degrees here, and this side of about 21.24. Okay, note that if 163.62 degrees actually were to work, we would continue to find alpha and A in this triangle the same way that we found alpha and A in this triangle. And then we would have two different triangles that solved the original problem, okay? That means that they had the specified values of having this angle of 70, a side of 6, and a side of 20.